This is the fate of the common Sri Lankan, while other segments ignore the crisis. This is the medicine shortage in Sri Lanka, a crisis that directly impacts the lives of the people. It is now a common sight to see people hunting for medicines from pharmacy to pharmacy at any city or town. This was the situation at the Candy General Hospital. We encounter shortcomings from time to time. We are in short supply of antibiotics. In addition, there is a shortage of anti-cancer drugs. We try to manage with donations and supplies from the Medicine Supplies Division. Do private pharmacies have medicines that are not available with hospitals? This was the situation in the Candy City. News first repeatedly reported on the situation at the Colombo National Hospital and this was what was witnessed on Wednesday. Patients living outside Colombo are faced with serious inconveniences. The Medicine Distributors Association elaborated on the situation. The medicine given to cancer patients to ease their pain and the medication for heart surgery is not available. We are facing a serious situation. Although COVID-19 was prevented, many more are dying due to the medicine shortage. Though it's not being reported, this is turning into a normal situation. Is the GMOA aware of this situation? Over 100 essential medicines are not available within the Sri Lankan health sector. It's not a shortage. These medicines are not available at all. Medicines for heart patients, saline, paracetamol and other antibiotics are not available. We're running out of cotton and alcohol rub. We're also running out of disinfectants, sanitary towels and medicines required for cancer patients. The National Eye Hospital is also facing a crisis. Medicines for kidney patients and children are in short supply. We cannot just give a medication to a child. There's a prescribed dosage. We are concerned over the continuation of the health sector in such a situation. This was a response from the government. The president granted permission to the health minister to expedite the imports via the Indian credit line. The cabinet also appointed a special committee to ensure the supply chain of essential food and medicine is not disturbed. Is Sri Lanka short of money? There is absolutely no issue in the provision of funds from the Indian credit line, Asian Development Bank, donors and others for the procurement of medicines in the health system of the country. What we have is an inefficient procurement process. The time period for procurement is 11 months. However, an audit revealed that some processes lasted for years. A black market is in the making of the medicine prices in Sri Lanka and it needs to be dealt with. The health ministry told COPE that the data system is not working properly and decisions were made based on inaccurate data. They want the system to fade away by the end of October. Then they want to introduce a new system. If the existing system fails suddenly, there will be a serious crisis this year. We will be left without all essential medicines and supplies. The health ministry is trying to bring a new system at a cost of 1 billion rupees.